morning boys and girls. This is another day that our God has made. We have to rejoice in it. Good morning our dear parents. We love you. Thank you for joining us to another Saturday to study the Bible story that has been our culture. We want to know God more and more every Saturday. Now my boys are the girls and this even goes to our parents. Do we remember we are in Christian season that we are celebrating the death of Jesus? We call it Easter celebrations. When we were talking with the boys and the girls on Sunday, some they were telling me it is time for gifts, exchange of gifts, nice gifts. And we said we are going to discuss this in details because there is a great gift that we get from the Easter holiday or season when believers, people who love God, we are celebrating our new life in Jesus. I read a Bible story from the book of Mark, chapter number 15, from 22. And they brought him to the place called Goligoda, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mist with the mirror, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his garments among them, casting slot lot for them to decide what each should take. And it was the third hour when they crucified him. And the inscription of the chant against him read, The King of Jewish. And with the, him they crucified two robbers, one on his right and the one on his left. And the scripture was fulfilled what that says he was numbered with the transgressors. Number 37 says, And Jesus uttered a louder cry, and the breath is last. It's like he's saying, And Jesus died. That verse 37 of this scripture. What I'm saying, boys and girls, children, we need God's salvation. We need to know in this season and even discuss with our parents what does it mean to say Easter season? What does it mean to have Jesus died on cross? He was crucified like a criminal. I want to just ask a question, boys and girls. You see people who go and steal from others. Some we have seen them on TV being burnt. People buy fuel. They put tire to that person. And then they light out the fire to the person. You see the person trying to save himself or herself until they die when they are crying and crying. But Jesus... The people of Jewish came, they arrested him like a criminal, and Jesus had done nothing. When they arrested him, they went beating him up, throwing him, he was bleeding everywhere. Then he was nailed on the cross. In his two hands, there was a nail from this right hand. There is a nail on the left hand. And even to his legs, there were nails. Oh, they were swimming of blood. Because of what? What we do wrong day. You know when mommy says, go to the shop, bring me this, and you say you are not going, you are returning Jesus on the cross. You remember when you are told not to go, like now it is raining. No going outside when it is raining, you go outside when it is raining, you get a cough, now we are returning Jesus on the cross. Jesus died because of those kind of actions. 
when you start doing what Mamin did not say or Dandi or Auntie, because we agree, we are supposed to do what people who are taking care of us tells us. Teacher in school, church school teachers, mom and dad, because they tell us to do good things. We obey them. When we did not obey them, that is when we made Jesus to go on the cross, be crucified, and die. That way he was bleeding everywhere. Jesus died so that we can be saved from all these things, so that we can be called good boys and good girls, me and you, and even our dear parent, to receive salvation, to have a new life, to start doing something good, to start going to the right direction. Now, it is the season we remember this. Is the season we read this story to our parents, to all people in our family. We let them know the love of God is so amazing that he allowed Jesus to die on the cross. Who wants to die on the cross? Me, myself, I don't want. Because Jesus died on the cross. And I don't want to return Jesus on the cross again as teacher Makena. Promise me, boys and girls, you are going to be good, you are going to do the right thing. When mommy tells what to do, do exactly that, so that we cannot return Jesus on the cross. And you know he suffered. He died suffering. He died having blood everywhere. It was a painful death. But this painful death brought salvation to us. Because of that penny for death, we are able to assess good things. We are able to live every day like children of God. Do you remember the song that we say? Children of God can sing hallelujah. Children of God we sing hallelujah. You remember the song? We sing children of God, we can sing hallelujah. Let's sing hallelujah. Because we are singing hallelujah, for God has shown us mercy. And we have said, even boys and the girls, they can accept Jesus in their heart. That way we say, we have to love Jesus, receive him, put him in our heart. He lives there forever. Then because of the death of Jesus, he will give us a good life. Will you share with the mom and the dad, even our cousins and remind them, the love of Jesus make us celebrate Easter. It make us remember our wrongs are forgiven. We are made good boys and girls for Jesus. That's how we are able to go to church, pray, and God listen to us because Jesus died for us. When we read this story for our families, we will get it more and more. I need to pray for you. Remind your friends about Easter is about death of Jesus. Because of the wrong they did, can we pray? Lord, I thank you for boys and girls. I thank you for our parents. We thank you for the Easter time that you have given us a reflection in your wonder as children that it is a time that you save us. And us as children, we need your salvation. We need to do what is right so that we can live closer to you all this long as, Lord, we grow in Christianity. Help us to grow according to your will and according to your original purpose. Help us to tap on the message of cross that we will have victory, security, and the liberty in you as boys and the girls. We need the blood of Jesus to work out our lives, that we will not give ourselves to bad things, that we will not give ourselves to bad habits, but we will live to serve you in your house and in our families and even to our schools. Protect us until we meet again to the next Power Kings coming Saturday to stand more about you. In the name of the Father, the Son, 
and of the Holy Spirit. Bye bye, boys and girls. I love you. God loves you more that you are in gave Jesus on the cross. This is true story of Jesus saving boys and girls. See you next time. Love you. Bye bye.